Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to my second channel. Today we're going to be doing a teardown of the Nintendo Zone distribution box. I've just done a video on this on my main channel. Uh, it's done very, very well, so thank you to everyone who's watched that video. Um, but I did say that if the video got 5,000 likes, I would do a teardown of it. I think the video right now is on 10,000 likes, so that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, let's do it. So one thing I completely forgot to show in the uh, video is this little bracket that attaches onto the back of it. There's actually two brackets here, uh, and that's one of the things that according to Jamie, the guy who has a l large collection of stuff like this, he said that these um, in a full set are very hard to come by. Um, and I could imagine why, because this would be mounted to a wall, and then that would mount onto there. Um, it did also come with the three screws as well, uh, which is also very nice. Um, and it's also got the charger as well, and I didn't show that either. And then lastly, this is the bracket that screws onto the back of the unit, which is also present uh, with my device. Let me quickly just show you the screws as well. There you go, I know all of you wanted to see those screws, so there we go, I've shown everything that came uh, with this besides the bubble wrap. So, let's get into the teardown. Um, I'm gonna use a little retro future card here just so I don't scratch the device on this mat that I've done soldering on at this point. So I'm gonna start off with a slightly larger screwdriver just to remove these two ginormous heavy duty screws that are holding this bracket down. Um, it actually quite surprises me that this is how it mounted to the wall um, because, let me show you, when you have this bracket piece screwed onto a wall like this, uh, sorry, no, I think it'll be like that actually, um, this piece is gonna push onto it and you can see it's gonna slide down like that. Now there's these two little pieces of plastic which have cutouts either side of them so that they can be pushed in and fold and they clip onto the bottom of that metal bracket. So now you imagine that's up against the wall and the unit is up against that. How do you then remove it? You push these two clips down and then you can slide the unit off of that wall bracket. But how is that gonna be possible when that's pushed up against a wall? I really don't understand how that's gonna work, but anyway, that is, uh, I just thought I'd show you those sorts of details there. Moving on to the actual device itself, I'm gonna remove the SD card cover and the game cart cover, which is not present on all units. One sold on yesterday um, on eBay for 300 euros that did not have those little covers. And there's also two things that my unit is missing. There's a small iron clip apparently that clips onto here that the um, charger would plug into and then there's also some more clips that came with that charger that you could then screw them into the wall. Um, I'll have found some photos and showed you them on the screen um, but with these sorts of things I can't imagine they were high priority to keep them as a collectible set, you know, when they were ripping them off the walls when they weren't being used anymore. Anyway, that is those all removed. Um, I'm now going to remove this screw, this screw, and this screw and see if the back lifts off. There may be some more screws under these covers, but um, I've never seen anyone do a teardown of this. There is some photos um, of the inside, I think, online, but I don't think anyone's ever done a teardown video. So I'm very excited to show you all this. Okay, well it does look like it's beginning to separate, but I am actually thinking maybe that there's gonna be some screws under here. So let's very gently try and get those out. Yeah, there is, look, there's some screws under there. Alrighty. So, all of these screws that I've taken off of the back are all completely the same. Now, we should be able to lift this off. There we go. Okay, and it does look like the SD card um, cartridge reader has a small little brick connector here. I'm just gonna lift my thumb into there and unplug that very gently. There we go, and that is us inside the unit. So here is the small little SD card reader that you can see there. Fairly certain that is a completely standard piece that we would have seen on the um, 
the regular DS. Although what has happened is this has been cut, this little ribbon cable, because there would have also been the shoulder button. Uh, I think that's how that works. There would have also been the shoulder button on the same ribbon cable. I might be wrong with that, but I know that that has been cut because there was, uh, there was something else behind that. But anyway, so there we go. That is the inside of the Nintendo Zone box. Now this little piece right here presumably is the antenna that is obviously not a standard piece that was inside the other DS's. So that is quite cool. There's also a little um, model number or something on there, which is quite nice. So let's set that back down. I'm not gonna tear this thing down fully. Um, I paid a lot of money for this and I'm very worried about it. Um, what has that come from? See, look, we're already breaking parts. Where has that come from? Uh, ah. Oh, it's just come from in here to help screw down that cartridge cover. Definitely a few things that are custom pieces. So you can see there, this little board here is a completely different piece. Uh, there's also this board, which is one that I do not recognize at all. Now we've got some wires that are running down to the front um, and also some that are just very gently soldered onto a resistor on here. So you can seriously tell that they've just been bodging it together with these wires. This is very reminiscent of something that you'd see which is a prototype. Um, we've got a ribbon cable connector down here. Can't quite think what that's, oh yeah, that is actually for the top screen. We've got the headphone jack there as well, which is really funny. They obviously didn't bother to remove that. There's the headphone jack right there. Um, but yeah, besides that, we're not really gonna take a, any further look. That is the um, ribbon cable connector for the digitizer for the touch screen. But I mean, as you can see, it is just the inside of a DSi motherboard. Let me uh, show you a photo on the screen next to it um, as to what a DSi motherboard actually looks like. And you can pretty much tell that it's exactly the same thing. We've just got some additional pieces uh, here and here and some jumper wires all over it. But I'm not gonna tear this down anymore. These things are super rare and very expensive and I'm just slightly skeptical um, of the soldering that they've done on here it's obviously just been you know piecemealed together um so yeah thank you very much for watching this one please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel and i'll catch you all in the next video goodbye